right. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, shortly after her uh, initial detention, uh, State Department officials were in touch uh, with Chinese officials, uh, raising uh, questions uh, about her detention. Uh, and since then, uh, in a variety of formats and at a variety of levels, both in China and here in the United States, uh, some uh, direct questions have been asked of Chinese officials about her status. Uh, and what's disconcerting to the administration is that uh, many of those questions have gone unanswered. Uh, for additional details about, uh, uh, about this, I'd refer you to the State Department. Uh, I can tell you that uh, today, just earlier today, uh, the White House was in touch with the Chinese Foreign Ministry uh, to uh, continue to uh, ask these direct questions uh, about her current status. Uh, and to insist that all the rules are followed that, are, that govern her uh, access to her attorneys uh, and providing her um, appropriate information about her status. Uh, and that has been uh, something that we have long been concerned about. It frankly it predates the, uh, the administration of, of President Xi. It is an opportunity for uh, the citizens of this country uh, to to welcome him uh, and show how warmly uh, his message uh, has been received in this country by both Catholics and non-Catholics alike. Uh, he serves as a role model uh, for so many uh, based on the way that he has lived out the values uh, in his life. Uh, he doesn't just talk about them, but he uh, lives them. And I think that has really uh, struck a chord in, uh, uh, in many people. Uh, and that has left them at least some of them, including some presidential candidates, in the awkward position. Uh, and the president's looking forward to the opportunity to uh, formally welcome him to the White House tomorrow morning. Uh, and certainly most looking forward to, I think, the opportunity to visit with him in the Oval Office. Uh, I would not expect um, uh, a robust discussion of a political agenda, uh, but rather I think it's an opportunity for um, uh, the two men to talk about the values that they have in common. Uh, and there are many. What would you expect? 